Hi, my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Hope you guys are having a better day than I am. I really don't feel well, but I'm going to my cousin's superhero themed birthday party. I'm going to be wearing a Robin t-shirt. So I figured I'd put some makeup on, film. I'm just gonna keep pushing through. I still haven't tried out this here, the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Quad in House of Thorns. And this is the perfect time to do it because we all know that I like to match my clothing with my makeup and vice versa. I don't have the shirt on right now, but when I do have the Robin shirt on, the colors match exactly. Red, black, green, and gold. So what better time? I am going to add in a setting shade though. So I'm going in with my dollar store brush into the Twilight Dusk You Can Be palette and I'm going to use Royal as my setting shade because I know these Wet n Wild quads are very pigmented and I don't want the shadow to stick and not blend like it has in the past for me. This may or may not be a mistake, but I'm going to use my fluffy brush from Wish and go into the matte red. Very dark red. Actually, not much is coming up on the brush. That might actually be a good thing. Let's see. The brush lied. Trying to decide if I look like I have an eye infection. <laughs> Honestly, the way to do it with like pink and red shadows sometimes is to go all out with them. Because sometimes when you have it light and faded, that's when you get like the irritated eye look. And when you really like go all out, it's very deliberate. Or rather, it looks very deliberate, so then people know you're not infected, you just wanted to rock some pink or red eyeshadow. Now, there are not many eyeshadow colors that I'm afraid of. Black, however, I am definitely afraid of. I'm going to try to go into the black with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it. And now I definitely don't trust... If it looks like nothing comes off the brush, or onto the brush. I'm gonna take my time with it. Just build it up slow. So the red is acting as my transition shade, and the black is acting as my crease shade. Seems like an okay black. Not great, but not terrible. Next I'm going to try the gold. It's kind of like a dark gold, like a brown gold. Yeah. But that's going to go here on the, maybe the inner half of the lid or inner two thirds. I have a feeling these shimmers would look nice wet, but we all know that I'm not going to wet them. <laughs> yeah, I do wish this was a little more gold, at least brighter or lighter. It does seem to be a nice eyeshadow though. Now I'm going in with the green on my pinky. It's a little chunky, that's why I stopped. Um, it's glitter in it. I'm just hoping that it will actually come off green and not black. It's gonna go on my outer third. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very dark green but you can still see that it is green. So I'm happy with that. 
I'm gonna put a little more of the bronze-ish color just to blend the two together. Again, I wonder what this would look like wet. But again, I don't wonder so much that I'm gonna actually do it. Feel free to try it at home. There's definitely fallout from the green, but it's brushing away, no problem. Maybe a one day I will stay in frame. I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it and try to add some of that green on the lower lash line, or at least the outer portion of it, and try to connect it with the lid shadow. Then I'm going to take the, whatever we want to call this, bronze, gold, and just put that on the inner portion and blending it into the green. I feel like the quality is good. Not my favorite shades, because we all know I like light, bright colors, but quality seems to be good. Might as well give you some swatches. So the red... not a good swatch. I feel like that one is kind of hard and dry, yet it did work for me. The gold next. The green. And the black. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.